The Canon 7D is cutting edge, explosive and advanced. With this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the equipment. First things first, you must check the camera battery is charged and inserted along with a compatible SD card. The card is inserted by sliding open the small panel on the right hand side of the device and the battery on the bottom. You should hear two distinct clicks when both have been inserted. The camera can be switched on using the on-off selector as shown here. Turning the switch right of the eyepiece to the left will ensure video recording is enabled. To get the most out of the camera, you will need to switch the camera to manual like this and the lens to manual focus like this. Now we can start setting up. Now by clicking in the menu button, we can play around with the camera features, for example white balance or video resolution. Scrolling across to the fourth menu will bring up the camera's resolution settings. It is important that these are set to 1920 by 1080 at 25 frames per second. To adjust the ISO, hold down the button labeled ISO and use the track wheel to move between digits. If in low light, the ISO could be boosted to a higher level to brighten the picture, and vice versa. But be careful because higher levels of ISO mean higher levels of noise in the picture. Opening up the aperture will increase the amount of light hitting the sensor. Using the zoom and focus ring, you can start to frame up your subject. Then you can start recording. To optimize the sound quality for your production, it is important to know how to set up the sound equipment appropriately. To do this, you must ensure that there are batteries inside the mixer first. Turn the power on. Depending on the situation, turn on the bass cut either to 80 or 160. Put the XLR female cable into the shotgun mic and the other male end into the mic 1 slot on the mixer. The mic's recording settings on the mixer need to be set to 48 volts. Attach the boom pole as demonstrated. Wind covers are provided if needed. Insert batteries into the radio mics. Attach the mic through the slot on the top then plug in the XLR cable into channel 2 on the mixer. It's vital that the frequency on both devices match each other. Power on the mixer. Turn both channel faders down, headphone dial halfway and insert headphones here. Make sure that the RTN light is off. Switch the 1 kHz tone on to confirm your recording through the mixer. Just make sure that the output is set to line. Plug two XLR cables into the mixer located on the other side of the device to attach the DR100. Make sure you have an SD card inserted into the recorder. Hold down the on button located on the side of the device until the display pops up with recording information. Select line 1 on the bottom of the recorder. Select XLR on the input switch panel like so. On the back of the device make sure to turn off the 48 volt switch as we're not using the condenser mic to record. Use the track wheel on the side to get to minus 18 decibels. Connect the mini jack to the left hand side of the recorder into the headphone jack. To listen from the recorder, press inwards the RTN on the mixer until it turns blue. Listen to both of the devices and make sure that the tone is matched by turning the track wheel above the headphone jack. Make sure that the tone is switched off and check the playback on the recorder itself. And we are done. This is how you set up the 7D and the sound equipment.